Sharks in infested waters? Guns where they shouldn't be? Next on Men Are So Smart. Time for a segment we like to call Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat. These are stories that he's found that are interesting from a legal aspect. A North Carolina man allegedly attempted to elude police Wednesday by diving into the ocean and swimming away, but was unknowingly just feet away from a shark <coughs> while trying the brazen escape. So it seems that Zachary Kingsbury, 20 years old, was pulled over for a traffic stop mm -hmm. just before 5 p.m. in Surf City, according to uh, the TV station. Surf City, here, here we, we come. come. Surf <laughs> City. Sorry. <laughs> and he allegedly tried to escape when officers spotted illegal contraband dun, inside dun. the vehicle and asked him to exit the car. Yeah. Kingsbury jumped into the ocean and began swimming away. Typically, that would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good option, leading to an hours-long standoff. So within an hour, Kingsbury was reportedly 4,000 feet from the shore, and the Surf City, here we come, police launched a drone to track the escapee, becoming more and more popular. I just saw a guy who is a professional cameraman for TV, and he was talking on his page about being FAA certified as a drone pilot. Yes. Do you know what that means? Yeah, that's the, the uh, Federal Aeronautics Association. Mm -hmm. And they have to go through, and it's like there is a certification process. And after that's done, you can work for companies and go do real estate pictures oh. and uh, like... Uh, other like filming companies, you know. I gotta imagine you gotta be a pretty good pilot of that one of those things. You know what? They're getting much easier and easier all the time to pilot where they do a lot of the work themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe we could shoot our show with a drone. We wouldn't be so close up. I'd have we a lot of see reflection. All of our flaws. There's yeah. a lot of reflection yeah. up here. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I'm being whited out here by this yeah. light. Can, can you see me better if I just do this? That's too much. All right, so at this point in the story, the operation becomes a rescue operation, police said. But as they're trying to save Kingsbury, they noticed a shark swimming near him. Uh -huh. And this is from the drone footage. They were able to nab Kingsbury about 7.45 p.m. One of the officers said, I would have drowned after about 10 minutes. The dude's an animal. Wow. Yeah. So he was charged with resisting arrest, obstructing an officer, possession of drug paraphernalia, methamphetamine, and possession of up to half an ounce of marijuana. Shark so, bait. Yeah, he would have been... Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if that shark had eaten the marijuana. Huh. I don't think that Domino's delivers to sharks. Unless they're land sharks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's story number one in Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat. Moving over to story number two. This is a great one. So a woman from Missouri was found with a loaded handgun in her lady parts. Her what? Her what not. Oh, okay. Yeah, her VJJ. I got you. You got all three in the first <laughs> two minutes. Now, what word, where do we go now? And this was after being arrested for possession of drugs. Okay. Amika Witt, uh -huh. also 20 years old, she was stopped by police at 5 a.m. on Thursday for driving 90 miles an hour. You know, just trying to blend in. Yeah, 90 miles an hour is just a few minutes. Is that a... Uh... Well, it's not 100. We talked about this once before. Keep it under 100. If you keep it under, you don't get, what's that called? The, you don't get the misdemeanor uh, violation for, they have a section specifically for driving over 100. And this is in California. Other states may have something similar, but at least in California. Back to the story. So during the search, police found ecstasy on her, as hmm. well as heroin in her bra. And she was taken to the McLean County Jail. At the McLean County Jail, she was strip searched by a female officer, obviously, who then found a 13 ounce Kimber 380 handgun in Witt's private parts. Yeah. The handgun was loaded and had a bullet in the chamber. Okay. Let me get this straight. 
it's bad enough. I, I'm trying to imagine how big this gun is. I have a small little Browning 25 Auto. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine inserting it into... I don't want you to imagine inserting it into anything. Yeah, it, it really, it's it's not a pretty picture. I'm not sure how she got that in there. So, I keep my gun in the nightstand next to the bed. <laughs> and it's not even loaded. Yeah. Yeah, well... That's kind of, you, you got to think, man, what if she had sneezed or something? Yeah. She could have racked her yeah. right what around What about she has to pee? <laughs> That's got to really block the old bladder. Oh, man. So she was charged with being armed in the commission of a felony and while in possession of drugs. Also for possession of a controlled substance with intent to deliver. The person she was with was also charged with unlawful possession of heroin and intent to deliver. And they're both in the McLean County Jail bail is set at forty thousand dollars no it, it really doesn't conjure up a much of a image to me that i just i don't even care to think about it well i'm sure that chewy will in producing this segment come up with the picture you've probably already seen it now that i think about it of this woman yeah it's just a face picture there's there's no woohoo picture yeah. you know what maybe she should add a picture that looked like this <laughs> like this. <laughs> that might have been better mugshot, huh? <laughs> it would have been, certainly been something for the family album. We appreciate you watching. As always, thank you so much. If you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you did, I know you did. I did. Go ahead and like it. Um, and if you like it, uh, subscribe to our channel. In a moment, a uh, little button's going to come up over my left shoulder over here, and it will, uh, it, you'll be able to click on it and go right to subscribe, and we would appreciate that. Also, when you're watching these episodes, listen, watch till the very end. All right? It's important to us because they monitor how long people are viewing our show. Some of our best gems are towards the end anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, to be sure. Yeah. And we saved the Vajayjai stories <laughs> as the closers. <laughs> anyway, and you know what's funny too, Roddy? I know I, I, I'm going along here. What's funny is I see the analytics for the channel. Yeah. And so I, I kind of study it to a degree that I notice what people really enjoy, where the most views are. And ironically... If it had the title has the word sex in it, right? People are all over that. <laughs> people are all over that. People like inbox me, yeah, and they like thinning the herd, yeah. And so you've just viewed a new segment called Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat, and uh, share this with your friends. It's important. And we'll huh? probably put sex parts in the title. Yeah, it'll. I just guarantee to... the word sex will be in the title. <laughs> <laughs> and in the links below, yes. like you're going to see right here on this one here, too. You can click on those. You just never know where you're going to go. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. It's, it's all safe. Absolutely. As yeah. I know. Yeah, safe for uh, viewing at work. We'll see you next time. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And this has been... Men are so smart. Thank you for jumping right in there. <laughs> you know what the most important of a... Timing. Uh, <laughs>